Now let's move on to this particular question. AG PLC had to close down its marketing and manufacturing operations from 16th March 2020 to 15th May 2020 as a result of the curfew imposed by the government due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Okay, so as a result of uh, the COVID outbreak, the company had to uh, uh, shut down, the close down the operation from 16th March uh, until 15th May 2020. Now, US dollar 1 million worth of raw material stock that prevailed as at 16th March 2020 was found to be obsolete, non-usable on 16th May 2020 due to the said close down. Okay, so what has happened? Uh, during this uh, close down, 16th March to 15th May, uh, the stock which prevailed uh, as at 16th March was found to be obsolete. Okay on this particular date. The financial statements of the company for the year ended 31st March 2020. So this is a financial period 2019 to 2020, which is uh, 1st April 2019 till 31st March 2020. This is the financial period. Were authorized for issue on 2nd July 2020. Okay, now what is required? Advise the management of AG PLC on the accounting treatment. So they are asking about the accounting treatment for the above matter. Okay, now uh, we need to uh, answer this question uh, by referring to the relevant, relevant standard, international accounting standard. Okay, I think this particular uh, question deals with IAS 10, which is uh, events after the reporting period okay so this is the relevant standard events after the reporting period okay okay now let's uh, move on to the relevant section uh, of the uh, standard then we'll come back to this question and we'll try to uh, get the answer okay so let's uh, go through the standard uh, guidance okay so what it says, the following terms are used in the standard with the meaning of meaning specified. Events after the reporting period are those events, it may be favorable or unfavorable, that occur between the end of the reporting period. Okay, as we discussed, the end of the financial reporting period, as per this question is 31st March 2020 and the date when the financial statements are authorized for issue okay so events after the reporting period okay so if you take uh, the financial period is 1st april uh, 2019 till 31st march 2020 this is the financial period okay financial year uh, the events after the reporting period are those events favorable or unfavorable that occur between the end of the reporting period. So end of the reporting period means this date to this date to uh, until the financial statements are authorized for issue. Okay, the financial statements are authorized for issue. Okay, so when is the financial statements are authorized as per the previous question? It says uh, the financial statement of the company for the year rendered 31st March 2020 were authorized for issue on 2nd July 2020. So this is the financial uh, statement when it was authorized. Okay, so 2nd July. So this is 2nd July 2020. So we are talking about this period, right? We are talking about this period until this period, okay? Events after the uh, reporting period, okay? So we are talking about this particular period, okay? Now, if something happens during this period, okay, if something happens, so what is the treatment? Two types of events can be identified. One is those that provide evidence of condition 
conditions that existed at the end of the reporting period. Okay, there's one condition. Okay, it says that existed that existed at the end of the reporting period. There is one uh, conditions that existed this uh, financial period before the uh, the financial period uh, before the uh, financial period ends there were certain uh, condition existed okay so those that provide evidence condition that existed at the end of the reporting period okay if that existed what we have to do adjusting events after the reporting period so if any condition existed existed prior to the financial period and that has to be adjusted in the financial statement okay otherwise those that are indicative of condition that arose after the reporting period which means that was not existed the condition was not there then you don't need to adjust the financial statement okay so it says not adjusting events after the reporting period this is not adjusting and this is adjusting if something existed prior to the financial period it has to be adjusted if it does not exist it should not be adjusted okay so we'll go back to the question uh now as i explain you uh this is the financial period uh first april 2019 till 31st march 2020 okay and the financial statements approved by the board on 2nd july 2020 okay so this is the events after the reporting period so uh us dollar 1 million worth of raw material stock that prevailed as at 16 march 2020 so that existed at this date okay the raw material raw material worth 1 million okay that existed at this particular date okay and was found to be obsolete or non usable on 16 may 2020 so 16 may falls here march april may okay so 16th may 2020 okay so found to be obsolete these raw material stocks are obsolete so it cannot be used non usable so therefore should we adjust the financial statement or not okay so based on the uh, ia stain standard it says clearly if any if any conditions this raw material was existed as at the uh, balance sheet date uh, 31st march 2020 so therefore this raw material 1 million was found to be obsolete or non usable after the financial year end close so therefore this was this condition was prevailed as at the balance sheet date so therefore this 1 million has to be adjusted in the financial period uh, which means we had to make a provision okay so advise the management of ag plc on the accounting treatment for the above matter so the raw material stock worth 1 million has become obsolete or non usable due to uh, the close down of the uh, manufacturing plant okay so since the close down uh, began on 16th march okay it began on 16th march uh, and uh, Uh, 16 March, and obsolete items were found on 16th May. This was found on 16th May. So raw material stock of uh, 1 million uh, has become uh, obsolete. It has become obsolete or unusable uh, due to close down of the manufacturing plant. Okay. Uh, since the close down began on 16th March, and it was found obsolete. or non usable on 16th may uh so this is an indication of an event after the reporting period okay so therefore the financial statements have been approved on 2nd july 2020 okay so this provides an evidence of condition that existed at the end of uh, the reporting period which is 31st march 
2020. Okay, so therefore, this is an adjusting event in the financial year 2019-2020. Okay, so therefore, based on this, so what we need to do is, okay, so uh, inventory provision of 1 million, okay, inventory provision of 1 million will have to be charged to the profit or loss. Okay, so 1 million, there should be a provision of 1 million in the uh, profit and loss account. Okay, so this is the answer for this particular question. This is uh, in relation to IAS 10. Okay, so uh, I will discuss some of the uh, items which are uh, which are uh, what do you call adjusting events after the reporting period. What are adjusting events and what are non-adjusting events after the reporting period in my uh, uh, next video with regard to uh, this particular standard, which is uh, IAS 10. Okay, so uh, I'll wind up the session uh, now and I'll see you soon with uh, another video. Okay, until then, uh, thanks for watching and until then, bye for now.